All right, well, I brought home, work home with me. I uh, moved it in yesterday. Uh, it's still on its skates. I'm waiting for a shim set to come in, mark out the holes, drill, and uh, epoxy some rebar or uh, all thread in there, and bolt it down to the floor with the shims, of course, so it's nice and level. So uh, here is our our Rosie the Riveter here making rivets. Uh, she does need a bit of work, uh, and we got to power it. Uh, waiting on that. Looks like we're gonna be running uh, a VFD if the price is right. So it's got a little hood. Here's your spindle, your feeder tube, controls there, satisfyingly buttons. This is the counter, so you can set it for how many, I think it's minutes or hours or, I'll have to read into that if I can find a book on that. Um, Wiring or wise, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, I do have a wiring schematic coming. Uh, the cabinet is, it's, well, it's kind of a mess. There's a lot of cut and paste wiring. Uh, there's a bunch of wiring down in there. No idea what that does. I'm hoping we can fit the VFD in here. Uh, that would be very nice. Um, it's got a rear attachment start there. I have never seen one with a rear attachment. Uh, but it would be cool to have one, I guess. Um, uh, you got your spindle start, drive shaft start. This one, the jog on the drive shaft, never worked. Um, but you can crank it over by hand with the hand wheel here lock it in and then you can crank the wheel there it won't it won't work now because I had to take some gearing off of it for transportation because I didn't want things to fly out or anything but um, what transportation wise it went pretty darn smooth I mean no uh, no surprises get the back panel off there pardon the rag there this is your uh, cam oiler so all these all these lines are for oil so as the machine spindles running this is slowly turning and pumping oil throughout all these lines and uh, she's a complicated one, but it's always fun to see her run when she is running. It's got a third horsepower, three-phase motor, and it's got a uh, three-horsepower down there. Pardon me there. Uh, this is a Delco product of General Motors Corporation and it's got the original brown and sharp tag here this motor is equipped with pre-lubricated ball bearings sealed for life but I sadly don't have a date on this motor uh, but she's a she's a big gal she is a big gal uh, what is it here? Serial is K55, so what I assume it's a 1955 here. There you can get a better look at it. So K55, frame 213, three phase. Uh, 60 cycles, 220 volts. Is that 8? Oh, 8 or 4 amps. Uh, so, 
model B2254A. So I guess we'll find something out about that. But I am missing this back cover. So the back cover is supposed to be there, but I mean it's not not a big deal. Um, I do have all the covering uh, that goes here. There's a little door and all that stuff. It's over here on the floor. I took it off uh, at work a long time ago because I was uh, taking that turret off to clean the ways on it. So I have that. I got the holding tray back there for it. Got a bunch of goodies. So uh, we uh, put it on the trailer with these big old aluminum blocks underneath it and that seemed to work really well. These skates, there's a Pika one there, uh, those are $75 a piece and then I got uh, this skate. These are all Amazon specials and they seem to be, I'm really stinking glad I bought them. Uh, of course, because moving this thing would be a pain in the ass if you don't. It's got this uh, arm here that bolts right here so you can move it. So these I would, uh, for a hobbyist or something, I would say, yeah, that's definitely worth the money. You got your, uh, excuse me, you got your oil reservoir under here. I'm running a uh, Hangstifer's Rocket. Uh, it's a vegetable-based cutting oil. It smells pretty good, so... That was my main concern, was like the high sulfur and all that, you know, really bad for you stuff. Um, but, it'll work. So, this is your turret here. I do have to pop this open, and I gotta redial this, because when you're, when you hold that release button there, when you hold that, you should be able to free spin and I got it lined up wrong and then I also have to adjust the ways on this one because I had to take this whole turret off clean it and put it back on I also need to take off uh, this back one here because it's sticky when it runs it kinda just slowly creeps forward uh, I'm not sure how good this one is I might switch this to this one uh, then I wouldn't have to keep reaching behind it to change it out. That'd be nice. Um, but yeah, it's it's here. And uh, no surprises. Got uh, your extra, extra gears here. Right there. And then in the side here, these are your change gears. This is how fast you go. Uh, and then... Uh, based on your where is it based on your uh, chart you change out your gears in here on how fast you want to go and there's a big old oil reservoir in here that's full of uh, machining oil and uh, I had this tarped up and the only water got into this so that's okay with me I got your reversing switch here main power this is for your uh, oh my gosh it's for your part off so the cam here controls this portion uh, this cam controls that one and there's no cam here but this spot this spot would be for this right here and then you got uh, your turret these these feed dogs tell it when to trip the turret do a tool change this one oh wait that one right there is the little chute that pops open when you got a part off your tool and it spits it out and what is it I believe that one oh man getting kinda rusty now 
Uh, we'll do an in-depth video anyway. I'll save you the uh, the horror. Uh, it's been since late August since this was last turned on, and that was uh, that was just me turning it on to try to get as much lubrication into it before they decommissioned it. So. Uh, yeah, we got uh, plenty of room. Got 12 foot, 12 foot off the back. We're gonna have to make a uh, tube stand. There should be a tube coming off here. Extends 12 foot that way onto a stand. Got to bolt that stand into the concrete. Then you can lift it up, put your stock in, put it back down. Uh, you can have extra stock up here you know doodads and things so this is a double O screw machine it can go up to a half inch diameter uh, the current stock I'm gonna be turning is 3 16 but we got lots of uh, extra tooling and things in case uh, we need lots of washers or knurled threaded inserts or what I mean whatever uh, whatever I can do, I'm going to do on this thing, because we got student debt we got to pay off. And that's the main goal with this, is just to chip away at the student debt that's coming up due here. And then make more money on the side, you know. That's that's the one goal. And then we got to figure out the whole Uncle Sam business. But in the meantime, she will sit here. I'm going to work on the turret, uh, the indexing of it. And, uh, yeah, so she made it. Uh, things are going to be moving along here once the electricians get back to me. So I uh, thank you all for watching and your comments and input. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one here.